Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on subclips and the questions I'm trying to answer are what is a subclip, why would I want a subclip and how do I create a subclip. Now sometimes when you capture footage you can end up with an awful lot of footage that you've captured in one go because you can't break it up in the capture footage you have to capture the whole thing. It could have been an interview and the interview could be an hour long and so you end up with a huge long piece of footage in your source panel. So you've double clicked on your footage and it's opened up and it could be an hour long. This happens to be only a minute long, but your footage could be an hour long. And you want to get in there and you want to capture just individual bits that are of most interest to your viewer. You can't show them the whole unedited hours worth of footage. You need to get in there and pick out individual bits that work. Now, what you could do, of course, is just go in there and set in points and out points. So we're at the beginning of the clip and we can just go to where the butterfly disappears and we could hit the O key on the keyboard or we could just hit this uh, icon for the out points and then grab it and drop it on the timeline. That's one way of doing it, but the problem with that is, I don't know what it is, is a piece of footage from Animals M2V, um, but wouldn't it be better if I had something that could clearly tell me that it was the butterfly? Now, a subclip would take this butterfly and create a brand new item in your project panel called butterfly that I could then open up in the source panel and edit it. And that way I can keep track of all the important bits of my interview or the important bits of my footage with an actual name for what they are so that when I look in my timeline it doesn't give me a non-descriptive title, it gives me a descriptive title and I can be really precise in my editing as opposed to having to use this slightly difficult to use scroll bar to zoom in and out of a very, very, very long clip. So what are subclips? They're small bits that are snatched from a longer clip. Why do you want them? Because they can help you to organize your project and you can pick up footage very quickly. It's got a naming convention that you can give it. You can grab hold of it, you can drop it in, you can edit it. It's very easy to find and use. So now that we know what subclips are, how do we create them? Well, I'm gonna delete this particular piece in my timeline. They are very simple to create. There are two things you can do. You can create a subclip or you can edit a piece of footage so that it becomes a subclip. Um, that's less used. Most use is just creating subclips. So what I have here is an into out point of the butterfly. To create a subclip, there are three methods. One is I can either go to clip, make subclip, or I can right click on it and get make subclip, or I can hit the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac, and drag it to my project panel and let go. All three of them will give you the same dialog box, and this is the important bit. You can name it whatever you want to call it. So we'll call this Butterfly. And click OK. And now in my project panel, underneath the original footage, I've got a new icon that appears. And this is a subclip icon, and it's clearly labelled as Butterfly. Now I want you to notice at the moment that uh, the butterfly is 11 seconds and 8 frames long in this particular sequence which was I think 1 minute and 4 seconds long as a whole sequence and it's just shown here. So to get to that I'd have to zoom in using this scroll bar at the top to get to the right place. However if I double click on this icon and open it up I have got one piece of footage that is 11 seconds and 8 frames long. Precisely what I needed and I can actually edit it to precisely what I want. So say it's a bit too much camera judder and I don't want all of that. Well, I can set a new in point and there's my out point. Set my out point there and now I can click and drag and drop that into my timeline. So that's how you can create subclips. Now, one word of warning. If you have done what I showed you in my previous tutorial by taking a piece of footage, adding effects to it and then bringing the sequence into the source panel, you will not be able to create subclips. It doesn't work on a sequence. It does work on footage, but it won't work on sequences. Now, one other thing that we can do is we can edit the original clip to turn it into a subclip. Let's say we've pulled the footage in and we only want a fraction of that footage in the final project. And rather than scrolling backwards and forwards to try and find the bits and pieces, what we can do if we know the time code is we can right click on it and we can go to edit subclip and with the edit subclip dialog box what we can do is we can specify the start time and specify the end time now notice at the moment that my animals footage has got the normal icon for video there's no sound on this particular clip this is just video now if I change this to say it starts at seven seconds and let's say it finishes at 
say 25 seconds 24 29 click OK so now I have a clip which is much shorter and notice that the original footage has now changed its icon to say it is a subclip and I have trimmed it so if I right click it can I edit the subclip click edit the subclip again it'll let me go all the way back out to its maximum amount and all the way back down to zero click OK and I've got my whole clip back again and that has taken away as you notice the subclip look so that's how you can play around with clips to create subclips the most used version is simply to create subclips to organize your project so that you know precisely what you're looking at you've selected the bits you want you have got footage items which are well labeled and when they come into your timeline each one of them will be properly labeled so that you can tell what's going on as opposed to them all having a generic animals.m2v label on them so I hope you found this useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.